Now, which of these ways would you choose to reveal your secret crush on someone? A, would you write that person a letter? B, would you tell the person in private in case he rejects you? Or C, would you tell that person that you're gay and you hope he is on national television? <laughs> Scott. Now, Donna has been helping Scott pursue his secret crush on John. John's backstage. He can't hear us. Um, how, how bad is the crush? Tell me about the first time you met him. Where, where, where was he? Um, basically, well, he was under a car working on her brake line. Yeah. And that was your first time? What was your first impression? Um, well, I only saw the lower half of him, so you can imagine. <laughs> um, you he was hot. Okay, you think about it. You, you have fantasies about him? I've had a couple, yeah. Yeah, you had one. You had when he was under the car. You had a fantasy about him. Yeah, something to do with like brake oil line snapping and. <laughs> I think Scott went on the show no, not with an intention of uh, embarrassing anybody. I think Scott went on the show thinking this was going to be a spectacular way right. that he could show somebody that he cares about them. Mm -hmm. Sort of like uh, I don't know if, if uh, in your days of being single. Uh, there's a girl you really like, you want to try and come up with something really neat to impress her. Tell us yeah. about, you have another one uh, that involved, you're in a hammock or something, tell us about that fantasy. I think she pushed him into things that he didn't really want to do. Like, um, Scott was very nervous. Tell us about that fantasy. <laughs> huh? um, yeah, actually. Jenny Jones told them to make it look good for the audience or she would be very mad. And they offered Scott to give him flowers, and Scott wouldn't do it. Wanted Scott to kiss John, Scott wouldn't do it. I got a pretty big hammock in my yard, and I just, yeah, I thought about it. Tying him up to my hammock. Um, and? Well, it entails, like, whipped cream and champagne, stuff like that. Now, John, he, he knows you're gay, right? Yeah. yeah. Do, do you know that he is? No. Anything's possible. <laughs> You're living in the 1990s. It isn't hard to offer somebody, a young, impressionable person, the opportunity to appear on national television to express a secret crush, something that he doesn't feel necessarily bad about. He doesn't understand the dangers. What is it that's so exciting about him to you? Um, he's got a cute little hard body. <laughs> um, you know, one you just want to pick up and put in your curio cabinet, you know, dust him off once in a while. <laughs> You want to cute. physically pick him up? Oh, he's just a tiny little cute thing. He's gorgeous. <laughs> well, all right, let's see if he really is. Take well, get the headphones off of John, and let's have John come out here and right see now. who has the crush on him. Here's John. <laughs> crush on you? Did I? No, we're good friends. Well, guess we're... what? It's Scott that has the crush on you. You lied to me. <laughs> I mean, he's confronted with this horrible situation on national television. You can see when you watch him, his hands go to his face in, in humiliation and embarrassment. Um, and Jenny Jones exploits that and keeps twisting the knife and twisting the knife. Uh, before we talk, take a look at it. We'll show a little playback of what uh, Scott said about you, uh, John. Take a look at that oh, monitor right here. down there. Well, it entails like whipped cream and champagne, stuff like that. Scott was pretty open, but he's been fantasizing about you since he saw you under that car for the first time. He had an under-the-car fantasy, and he had a hammock fantasy he's been telling us about. Did you have any idea that he liked you this much? Um, no, 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 I did not. Can you tell us not. what your status is? I mean, are you involved with anybody, or? Um, no, but I am uh, definitely a heterosexual, I guess you could say. <laughs> He'd been engaged to a woman for, for three or four years and they had broken up several months earlier. He thought probably it was she, and if not the ex-girlfriend, someone else he had met at work with whom he thought there was a spark between the two. Uh, and so he was fantasizing. He gets on the airplane, uh, for, before even he gets on the airplane, he goes out and he buys a, a, a suit of clothes, a sport jacket, a pair of slacks, 
and a new shirt and a new tie and I think even new shoes. And he gets himself all spruced up because he is now convincing himself that this is going to be the turnaround event in his life. This time, if it is his old girlfriend, he tells everybody at work, this time he's going to marry her. Uh, Donna lives upstairs for me. And uh, Scott was a guy, one night I pulled in, she was looking at her brakes, and I was looking at the brakes too, and uh, Scott pulls in behind me and goes, uh, well, your car is pretty funny because I drew this peace sign in the back of my car, and it's, you know, it says peace man on it. And then Scott says, you look like a hippie in your car, and then you get out of your car. And, and then she, he told Donna that I was a good looking guy. And Donna told me, and I said, well, you know, it's flattering, but. It's flattering, but you're not interested. No, There's no I mean, way. There's no it, way, right? No, I'm, I'm uh, you know, now well, at least, you Scott, at least you got it out. Are you very disappointed? You can see her on the tape, draining every last drop she can get out of it. She says to Jonathan, after he sees it's Donna Riley there sitting with Scott Amador, and he kisses Donna Riley, and Scott Amador, obviously set up for this, tries to embrace him, and he pulls away and, and avoids the embrace, sits down next to, in the only empty seat next to Scott Amador, and as the audience hubbub kind of dies down uh, Jenny Jones from out in the audience says so did you think Donna had the crush on you did I no we're good friends she gets halfway through the sentence and she says well guess what guess what it's Scott that has the crush on you you lied to me <laughs> his first reaction is to turn to Scott and to Donna and say yeah. you lied to me <laughs>